Did I or did I not tell you guys it was coming? See? Second one on the set. Let's get this shit out the box. Let's review this shit. Conehead collectibles. Let's go. It's your boy back at it again, Conehead Collectibles. You here with me to do another review of these die cast cars. You know, I told you there was two in the set. One was Venom with the Viper, and the other was Black Video, 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 Black, Black Widow, Black Widow. But the 1966 Chevy Corvette, Venom had that 2008 Dodge Viper. Hell yeah, so now we got both of them in the set. So, um, now that you see the box, now that you see her in the box, let's get her and him out the box. Let's go. Halfway out the box. Let's go. Alright guys, we are back, back at it again. Check out Black Widow in that 1966 Corvette. What? So here's your little figurine. Um, like I said, you can buy these off, off, off um, from Walmart for 20 bucks, or you can spend a little bit extra on Amazon. Now, I looked it up on Amazon and it was the exact same price, so sometimes you get the lucky deal of not having to go to Walmart and just on Amazon, you know how it is. Um, and you can get it for the exact same price, 20 bucks. So, and it comes to your door the very next day. I ordered this yesterday, got it today. Um, I didn't see it at Walmart last time I went. That's when I picked up that Venom. But like I said, there was two that come in the set. That um, 2008 Dodge Viper um, with Venom. And then you got this 1966 Corvette with Black Widow. So, um, does each character have a car in the movie? No. Jada takes the car, takes the character, makes a design on that car to match the character. And that's how they get the car. And, the, um, um, and then they put the figurine with it. Now, is this car in the new movie? I have no idea because the new movie ain't out. So don't ask that question. Why would you even, I don't even know why you'd ask that question. Everybody knows that the movie, they did canceled it or whatever and then they're bringing it back. I don't know. Now it's coming, now it's not, it's whatever. But let's go over this. Um, so, here's your little figurine. Does it look like her? Sure. It's kind of too tiny to say it looks exactly like the character on the movie. Um, she does got black outfit with a blue lines going through it. Um, and then she's getting ready to whip some ass because we all know that's what Black Widow does is just whoops ass. Um, or calms the hawk down. So, the door is open on this. Obviously, you're not going to have a trunk that opens. On the back, you will see a little license plate that says Marvel. Maybe you can't see it. Um, and then we got the hood that opens. Let's pop this hood open. Sometimes you got to bang that bottom because it's hard to get your. Well, there we go. Hood is open. Motor is all black in there. It does open this way on this type of car, so don't try to open it from the other way, okay? Don't break your shit. You just bought the shit. Don't break the shit if you just bought it. It's got nice gold rims. Um, you got the red paint job on the top. It does go on part of the doors because if you notice, the doors are part of the hood on this car. Um, and then down your side fenders you have the little gold stripes that match, match the gold rims. It does look like she has a nose tank in the back. So, um, is she getting ready to go super fast? Apparently, because she can't fly like Superman, right? She's not DC. So, let's say she can't fly like Iron Man, right? Um, yeah. But it's not bad, like I said, so if the two in this set, like I said, if you want to collect Jada, you want to collect these Marvel characters or DC characters, um, each one will come in a set, and on the back of the box, like I showed you, it will tell you what comes with that set. Um, 
Hope you're going for the pass on previous set. Good luck. There's like, they're not even all in the back of the box. There's so many of them damn things. It's crazy. I got almost all of them. But that's me. Uh, but if you just want like these Marvel sets, DC sets, the Batman, um, there's like six in the Batmobile set. Um, as far as this one though, there's only two in this set, which is the Venom, with that badass Viper, 2008 Viper, looks really good, I got it set up over there with my, um, I think he's set up with my Groot, um, my Groot set, um, so if you haven't seen the Groot and the Venom, go watch that video, but yeah, here it is, here is the Black Widow, one of these days the movie will come out, um, but I got this set complete, so that's always a good thing. Um, it does got the little symbol on each door. But it looks pretty good, you know. Sometimes I uh, set them up um, with the hood and the door open. Sometimes I set them up with the hood and door closed. So it all depends on how you want to set them up. Obviously she don't want to stand up. So let's put her ass right there. So that she don't have to move around with the damn car. She's just going to look good while the car is spinning around for you guys to check it out. Okay. We do have these um, on the side. They're little um, butts on the side of the fender. And they are little gold vents to match the rims and the fenders. This one kind of looks a little banged up. I'm going to tell you the truth. I've never got a car. This one's got crap on it. This. I don't know. This one is not that good of a. Could it be that I got it from Amazon? And they, No. Because it's in the box, so that wouldn't make sense. Um. Whether it be Amazon or Walmart, Amazon just shipped me one that had some shit marks all over it. this gold stripe. <coughs> um, but anyway, I will have to find a spot to put her. Maybe I will put her in the middle of Iron Man and Captain Marvel. Um, so she can be in the middle. I don't have a bigger statue of Black Widow. Um, I did think about getting one, one of the Diamond Select ones. Um, which would probably go good so if I do collect more diamond select statues instead of the prime one because the prime one and sideshow I'm collecting DC the more expensive so if I go cheaper value with the diamond select it'll probably be the Marvel characters so I might do Marvel characters as a cheaper diamond select cheaper as in 50 bucks 100 bucks 150 bucks what they are coming with and I know Diamond Select is starting to change up how they make them which is causing them to go up in price around the $100 $150 mark um, which is still a lot cheaper than your DC um, ones that I haven't got yet but uh, from Prime 1 I mean you can collect Marvel from Sideshow too but uh, they're like $1,000 to $1,200 so um, <coughs> yeah if I do end up collecting more statues of Diamond Select they will probably just stick to um, Marvel, so I can get a Diamond Select um, Black Widow to go with this set, um, statue and then put it with my Captain Marvel Diamond Select and the uh, Jada diecast and figure and then the Iron Man Diamond Select with the Jada diecast. Um, he's got the Camaro and stuff so anyway that's your little review. They're pretty cool cars if you don't want to get into spending a lot of money but you want something with characterized Marvel or DC um, and you like cars so you want to go both routes um, I would say jump on these. They're not a bad deal. They're 20 bucks that come with the figure or they're 15 if they don't come with the figure. So your Fast and Furious that don't come with the figure 15. Although I do have two Fast and Furious that comes with Brian and one comes with Dom. So those ones were 20 bucks. So like I said, they come with something 20 bucks they don't 15 which is not a bad price and you can order them off Amazon you can probably find what you're looking for on Amazon a lot faster than going from Walmart to Walmart to Walmart to Walmart looking for them so you might have to pay a little bit more on Amazon but sh and it's to your door okay gotcha all right so that's your review for the Black Widow 1966 
Chevy Corvette with the marble on the back and nothing on the front. There you go. Like, comment, and sub up. Peace.